Hello everybody and uh, Merry Christmas and wishing you all a Happy New Year. So tonight we're going to try a couple of different things. I'm going to try out my rather nifty tripod to see if that works. Um, and also we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. This will be the first one we've done on the channel and hopefully you'll find it interesting. As you can see uh, we're unboxing a number of 1 to 144 scale German classic tanks and you will no doubt rec recognize the Chinese characters. So this is uh, come from AliExpress. It contains 18 pieces, a mixture of tigers and panthers. Uh, it's unopened so we'll go through it um, and explore what comes in the package and contains 18 models a mixture of, as I mentioned, tigers and panthers. And this cost me, including postage, about a tenner. So let's have a look and see what we get inside. So, I mean, the first thing to comment upon is that the box is probably some sort of display, probably set on a counter, and so the units are contained here. So the first one we picked out is Panther. And, uh, let's just spin that over. Not a huge amount of detail on the box. Kind of gives you an indication of the models. I believe they're probably going to be very simple, kind of snap fit type configuration. Um, we've got some variation in in kind of the colours of you know, the two tigers and the and the, the panther models, but I don't necessarily think that determines any particular mark or anything kind of particular about the, the type of tank. So, as I mentioned, this comes in a pack of 18. So, what I'm going to do is I'll pluck one out and... Uh, We'll have a look inside and see what the model looks like. So as I mentioned, these are 144 scale um, and I'm really planning to use these in conjunction with my uh, Lancer and Pendraken miniatures if they're any good for IMB Shopman. And uh, obviously having 18 of these gives me sufficient number of units to have quite a bit of flexibility about how I intend to use them. Uh, the aim is that, to do um, North Africa and, and up into Italy. Um, so there you go, first unit out of the bag. Um, and I suppose the immediate thing to say is that I'm surprised that there is absolutely no construction at all required. Apart from sticking the turret in, take that bit of solid tape out, pick up my turret, if I can find it with the camera stuck in the way, and uh, try and fit the turret, which is just a very simple squash fit. Now, if I decide that these are a, a goer, they obviously need to be repainted. And you can see immediately that you know, the detail's not particularly great. You know, the road wheels are fairly vague, but you know, it's definitely a panther. What I'll probably do is uh, have a little play, see if I can get that annoying ball bearing out and uh, paint it up and uh, see what it looks like. I mean, the barrel's got a little bit give, feels a bit flimsy. It's obviously very glossy, um, but, you know, I suppose there are some positives, the detailing 
on the decking isn't bad. Yeah, turret looks okay. Quite clearly you see the mantlet and I don't know if you can necessarily see any detail around things like the machine gun or anything like that. But you know there's a gaming piece on a table from a couple of feet away. I think that's gonna look reasonably presentable. Okay, well we'll put that one to one side now. And we're gonna get out one of the get out one of the tigers and we'll get out the other the other shade of tank. And, uh, again, look and see if we look at this one. So again looks very very similar. You know, no construction required. I'll tell you what, it really is quite an art doing this with the uh, with the video camera in the way. Um, I don't know how the likes of Sonic Sledge managed to actually paint like this with a with a camera stuck in the way of your miniature. It would drive me around the bend. Uh, so let's take that off. Stick that down. Stubborn bit of shiny sellotape just doesn't want to come off my finger. Let's see if we can try again. No, it's not it. Um, okay, hopefully, it's a bit of focus. Okay, and there's the tiger tank with some sellotape stock on it. I'll just peel that off. So again, you know, very glossy. The road wheels are there, but again, vague is probably a good way to describe them. But the detail on the turret, you've got the tow ropes there. Um, yeah. It very clearly is a tiger. It looks tiger shaped. You could do with a bit of a clean up in places. I can't really tell from this video if they need any filling or not, but given the simplicity of the construction, I would suspect not. Yeah, you know, they do have this uh, kind of annoying ball bearing and road wheels. But I know they've got a couple of screws in there, so I'm going to see if I can get rid of those. I mean, at least if I can recess the ball bearing, I can glue it into place, and you know. If push comes to shove the road with the little wheels underneath will just have to stay um, so there you go um, 18 tanks um, uh, no 18 tanks well, it says 18 pieces but I've got a from my fairly rudimentary maths I've got eight tigers and eight panthers, making a total of uh, 16. And as I say, for just over a tenner, I think they're going to work reasonably well once they've been painted up. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and this little experiment. I will publish a follow-up when I've managed to paint them and tidy them up a bit. Um, but that will do for now, except to wish you all... Uh, very happy and prosperous new year. Take care. Bye-bye.